Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Great to have you back with us on the 6th on a Monday and crystal clear skies, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine above the Flatiron Building, downtown Warren, Quickville, another iconic structure. There you go, St. Peter Cathedral, looking at another gorgeous sunset out West 10th Street on our U.S. netting cam. So the more things change, the more they stay the same, and the weather pattern is doing just that. Uh, nothing on radar again. Uh, you've got temperatures warming during the week, cooling on the weekend with really no big storms. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, 34 for a high, 23 for a low at ERI, which is fairly close to the averages of 37 and 22. And the snowfall drought is just so uh, evident here, less than an inch so far in February. Uh, and we went up to 22.3. Now, this is not going to be the least snowiest February, nor will it be the least snowiest winter. We're already past that, but it's way down from average. So we're up to uh, 10 hours, 46 minutes of daylight, milder weather tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday. Dry through Wednesday with showers Wednesday night into Thursday. And then that goes to a little bit of wet snow Friday and Saturday. So temperatures right now, 30 Larry in Lake City, 28 Lore in Edinburgh, 28 in Barron. Becky and French Creek down to 26. Going down south, uh, 31 Joyce in North Meadville. 33 Mr. Anderson in New Richmond. 31 in Titusville. Out east. Chandler's Valley at 33, Youngsville at 30, and Cooperstown at 33. So just pretty much what you would expect for February. Blue means cold, but green and yellow mean warmer. And you can see it right here, this bubble of warmth again forming to our west, which will bring some 50s into our region midweek period. The pink stinks map, well, the pink representing sub-zero temperatures still stay into the north. As uh, we go into the weekend, it'll cool down but it won't cool down that much. So high pressure gives us another crisp, cool, moonlit, frosty night. Then the winds turn out of the south tomorrow, so we start a warm-up, about uh, 10 degrees warmer than today. They stay out of the south tomorrow night, so it's warmer tomorrow night than tonight. And then on Wednesday, we get a lot of sunshine till late in the day, and we're up near 50 degrees before the showers come through Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And once the front gets through and the low gets through, you get the cooler air behind it headed on into the weekend. So our forecast for the lake shore tonight, moonlit skies, cold temperatures, lows north of 90, 21 to 25. If you're south of 90 inland, Cory and Cambridge and Union City, frosty, clear, 16 to 21. Uh, very chilly, Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, McKean counties, 5 to 15. So for tomorrow, you bump it up into the mid-40s with abundant sunshine. Tomorrow night, the lows bump up into the 20s and 30s. And on your seven-day, we're near 50 on Wednesday. That's a dry day with a good deal of sun. Thursday showers still near 50. Friday it starts to drop with some raindrops or snowflakes. Uh, Saturday some snow showers again, kind of like last weekend. And then it turns around uh, as we go into early next week. We're back into the 40s. Of course, you can check out that seven day and many other weather features on the Your Erie to Go app and the weather page at yourerie.com. Well worth the watch for the yeah. next few days. But I will tell you, my brother in law brought this up yesterday. I don't think the snowmobilers have been able to get out at no, all. No, and, and that's no, been a thing. All. That's been because yeah. of the.